Okay, students, Ms. Gonzalez here. Again, I have to be out of class. I'm sorry about this. I was really looking forward to getting our vocabulary done. I'm sure you are too. <laughs> well, tomorrow is uh, Winter Olympics, and I will see you there. But um, today I'm out because I have to do, I have student study meetings. Uh, student, excuse me, student study team meetings with um, Ms. Marcel, Mr. Martinez, and some other teachers. I already had them before, but we're doing another round of um, of meetings for students who are needing help, you know, at school or passing their classes. But in any case, Ms. Marcel let me know that I that I was set to attend. So here I am, and I have to be out, but I only be out for. 6th and 7th period, which unfortunately is during your guys' periods. Um, so, is one of your periods, I should say. But in any case, um, I'm making this video just to add a little bit more information about the agenda. Whoever the sub is, um, you know what to do. I'm going to leave, leave it known to them that they just, you know, to let you know to access your agenda, which you are right now. I'm going to go ahead and embed this video here on the agenda. But in any case, um, you got to be in your seat to make sure the teacher can take role. Make sure you watch this video, which you will, and do your Google form, please. But I want to make sure that you can see from the independent practicing calendars that you need to do your daily work log. And unfortunately, I'm kind of bummed out about this. I really wanted to start really getting into doing vocabulary together, but it doesn't look like we're going to do that. If I don't, if you guys don't do it independently, you will be behind English three honors. And I really like you guys. I want to get you guys caught up with them. I'm going to be posting as soon as you guys probably next week. I'll be posting the vocabulary onto Quizlet so you can start practicing. So I don't want to. I want to make sure that at least you have enough time to memorize certain words and to study for the test. So this is why you have to do your vocabulary worksheets on your own now. But one thing I want to. I want to make it. I want to make it clear to you guys. Okay, I know some of you are using Dictionary.com to get your definitions. Okay, please don't use dictionary.com for the definition. So on your vocabulary sheets, make sure you write the definition in your textbook. You already have the word acquiescence. That's the only one that's not in the textbook, but you already have the definition for that. The other ones are in the book. So make sure you look through uh, Strike Toward Freedom and Necessary to Protect Yourselves to find the definitions for, for the other ones. I think we were on number four. I think we finished it. So now I think you only have seven words left, but please use those definitions for, for, for your vocabulary worksheets. Don't look them up, please. Don't look them up in the dictionary. Look them up in your textbook, please. Okay? Because that's the way you're going to memorize them. I want you guys to do a lot better than you guys did on the last test. I was very disappointed. But in any case, make sure you get those definitions. Um, for homework, uh, you have to do the vocabulary worksheets, but they're due Monday, March 4th. I'm not giving you homework. Um tomorrow like I did in some of my other classes I'm letting you guys relax at least for um, for the time being in okay, case since I'm not there um, because of Winter Olympics but make sure it is due um, March 4th on Monday so is there due 30 30 minutes before the beginning of the period um, on the look ahead uh, next week we're going to obviously we're going to start reading strike to our freedom necessary to protect ourselves and we're going to be completing PNRs and the related assignments for that. So that's something to look forward to. Also next week, um, I'm going to ask you guys to do vocabulary flashcards. We're going back to, you know, we're going back old school like we did, you know, last year where we had a vocabulary uh, vocabulary card proof sheet and you had to uh, draw pictures and give definitions and parts of speeches and give the term on vocabulary cards. I'm going to start doing that because I need to get you guys a spelling. You guys are losing too many points. I need to know that you're practicing. Quizlet is not doing it alone. That's good for memorizing words and identifying the words, but your spelling is not coming through and you're bleeding points. So that's why we're going to vocab cards. You still have to do the Quizlet opener, though. But this is also something that you have on the side to practice your spelling. Okay? So I am really, really sorry I'm not in class. You know, I, I don't know what's up with this year. I'm, I got sick. I was out for three weeks. So my surgery, I've been out because of follow-up appointments. My husband's also having surgery, so that's why I'm not in class. And now a ton of sets is teaming. So I apologize for not being in class, guys. But I will be there on Monday, okay? You have a very nice weekend, and good luck tomorrow. 
um, on Winter Olympics, even though I'm a freshman advisor, so I have to put them kind of first on that. But I wish you guys all the best of luck, okay, guys? And I will see you tomorrow for sure at Winter Olympics. Have a good day, guys. I love you guys. Be good. Bye-bye.